Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Right now, I need you to smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories every single day. Well, my friends, today's story comes to us from my friend Juliana. She sent me an awesome idea for a story, and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com. Send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too! Let's go! All right, boss. We've come up with a great plan. You want to hear it? What are you talking about? Of, of course I want to hear it. What is your plan? Okay. Well, you see, we've uncovered uh, some very good information that the spy team, you see... They have these walkie-talkies, and that's how they talk to each other. And if we were able to steal the walkie-talkies, then maybe they wouldn't be able to talk anymore, and then we could take over the world. Oh, my friends, that, that is a very good plan. All right, uh, wh- where is Professor Sticky Fingers? Oh, he's, he's over in the other room. Should we go get him? Ugh, yes, Purple Ninjas, of course. Go get him! The Purple Ninjas ran over on the other side of the lab to get Professor Sticky Fingers. And uh, Professor, it, uh, we have a plan for you and Dr. Stinky Breath. He needs, to, he needs to explain it to you. Oh, boy! Professor Sticky Fingers followed the Purple Ninjas back over to where Dr. Stinky Breath was, and they told him everything. You see, Professor... This is what I'm talking about. This is very important. I need you to go steal all the walkie-talkies right now. Oh, boy. Of course. Well, it's time for sticky time. <laughs> hey, and boss, um, do you think we can get our own walkie-talkies? We, I've always wanted the walkie-talkies for us to talk to each other. <laughs> uh, yes. That, that is a great plan. Actually, that was my idea. I was about to say that, but yes. We need walkie-talkies. After we steal theirs, then we will have our own walkie-talkies that we will use to talk to each other without them knowing. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I mean, ha 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 ha! A few days later, Juliana was in her room. She was cleaning up her room. Isn't it nice to have a clean room? Oh, I love when everything's in its right place and the bed is made and... Oh, it feels so good. Well, Juliana agreed, and she was cleaning up her room, and and she was also taking inventory of all of her spy gear. That's an important thing of being a spy, is you always have to make sure that you have all your gear on hand and, and ready for action. Well, she was checking everything, and her jetpack, her spy gear, her net shooter, and yep, everything. Wait, where's my walkie? She said. I haven't used it in a while, and the last I saw, it was in my spy gear pack. And how am I supposed to let HQ know that I don't even have my walkie? Ah, we need like a backup plan for that or something. I don't know what to do. I need to get a new one if it's gone, but how do I let HQ know? And then all of a sudden, thud. What was that? There was a thud right on my window. It's a bird. It's like she's trying to come in. Juliana opened the window and the bird flew right inside. She has a message tied to her leg. Look at that. Juliana carefully removed the message that had been tied around the bird's leg. She unrolled the piece of paper and inside it said, Juliana, this is HQ. This is a secret message. Do not let anyone else see this. Unfortunately, all the spies' walkie-talkies have gone missing. 
We believe it is Dr. Stinky Breath that is behind this. And the only way we're able to communicate right now is through our message delivering birds. So this is your new message delivering bird. If you have something that you need to let us know, write it on a piece of paper and tie it to this bird's leg. We will let you know when we get new walkie talkies. Signed, HQ. Wait a second. What? Dr. Sticky Breath has stolen all the walkie talkies? Does that mean the purple ninjas were here? (gasps) I wish we had some kind of purple ninja repellent. That would keep him away. Oh, are you hungry, girl? All right. Let's find you some water and some maybe some bird seed. And then I can start looking for clues. Juliana ran downstairs to get a little bowl of water and some bird seed from outside. It was important for her to take care of her little messenger bird. You see, a long time ago, before walkie-talkies and phones and emails and texting, people used to send messages through birds. They would really tie a, a little paper message to a bird's leg, and then the bird knew where to fly it. It was pretty amazing. Those birds were very specially trained. Well, now that all the walkies are missing, looks like we have to use these messenger birds again. As Juliana got everything nice and prepared for her messenger friend, she had to decide on a name. All right, little girl. Uh, I think you should be named Penelope. Yeah, how about Penelope? I think her new friend liked the name. As Juliana started looking for clues, there were zero. Zero clues. Unfortunately, she had cleaned them all away. You see, when she cleaned her room, she got rid of any chance of evidence or fingerprints or any kind of clues. Oh boy, what am I going to do now? Said Juliana. Well, I do remember at school we were just talking about how to make your own walkie-talkie. Yeah, maybe if I made my own then that would help HQ with this whole process. <gasps> Let's do it. Juliana grabbed the book from school that was all the walkie-talkie instructions. It looked really hard, but she was very smart. Wouldn't that be cool to build your own walkie-talkie? Wow, I wish I had the plans that Juliana has right now. As she grabbed some wires and, and a battery and, and started building out this walkie-talkie, everything was going perfectly. Yes, this is actually not as hard as I thought it was. If I just follow these instructions, I think I might be able to do it. Pretty soon, Juliana had set it all up. The speaker and the microphone and the wires and the battery. It looked exactly like her instructions. As she turned it on, it made a nice fuzzy sound. I think that means it's working, said Juliana, as she moved the dial back and forth to find a different channel. Because, you know, walkie-talkies, they have those different channels, like one, two, three, four, five different numbers. And if you change to a different channel, then you can hear that channel signal. As she was moving and changing the numbers over to HQ's number, which was 12, all right, five, six... Seven, eight. She was getting closer to 12, and then all of a sudden, she heard a sound. All right, boss. It looks like uh, we've stolen the entire world's walkie-talkies. Do you need us to do anything else? (gasps) What was that? Juliana dropped the walkie-talkie back on her desk and put her hands on her head. Did I just hear the purple ninjas? She thought to herself. I have to let HQ know that we now have their secret radio communication channel. She grabbed a piece of paper because she had to send this message on the bird back to HQ. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Ah, parents, remember those glorious childhood moments? You know, pedaling down the street on your bike, feeling the breeze in your hair, Or pick up games of basketball with your friends as the sun dipped below the horizon. Or having a camp out in your backyard with all your neighborhood friends. Well, here's the thing. Those moments may not seem like much to us now, but for kids, 
They're nothing short of epic. And the thing is, Capri Sun is always there. Riding bikes, building forts, making new friends. Each choice a child makes encourages this sense of independence. Capri Sun is all about kids getting to call the shots. So, listen, next time you see a kid pedaling their heart out or aiming for that perfect shot or building a home away from home in the backyard with neighborhood kids inside a cardboard box, remember that Capri Sun is there, not just as a delicious drink, but as a tribute to the untamed spirit of childhood. Capri Sun, it's going to be epic. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Bella, who's turning nine years old. Bella loves horseback riding, singing, and dancing. Wow, Bella, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy ninth birthday. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.